Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. It is bright and sunny, early in the morning. The puppies, you guys cannot come with us. It is a work day out at the ranch. It is finally the day we are taking down the high fence, okay? Now, some of you guys might be complaining, moaning, and groaning. I can't believe you're taking it down. Such a good opportunity, okay? Here's the deal. Besides the fact that I want to go out there and shoot some freaking deer and restore it to its natural habitat, because I think that'd be kind of cool, I actually learned yesterday, this is ironic, but I learned yesterday that the fence at the high fence is no longer tall enough to be required a high fence. Like they said, like, even if I wanted to just turn it into a high fence and leave it as is and even like fix the holes in the fence, they're like, it's physically not tall enough. Uh, they said that it, I don't know what it has to be. It's got to be a couple feet taller than what it is now. But they said that the DNR that I talked to, they said they've been to this property before. And they've seen deer clear the fence, which I couldn't believe it. I, I was like, there's just no way. They're like, oh yeah, they'll, they'll jump that sucker if they need to. So the new regulate, because this thing was built back in Nam. No one knows when this sucker was built, but when it was built, it was up to code and now it's not so now it's like a no-brainer to take it down it's not even an option to keep animals i literally found this out yesterday and it's like okay boys well let's go take out the fence so we've got a trio of vehicles just an entire fleet going out we've got the old side by side hooked up to zach's truck we've got a four-wheeler and the brush cutter hooked up to banjo's truck so this is a brush cutter that goes on the skid loader and then we got a four-wheeler that we've got two modes of transportation when we get there the golf cart's already there but that thing isn't really meant for like running and gunning and stuff like that and then i've got the dump trailer and the skid loader. The dump trailer is insignificant. It's just the only mode of transportation I have currently for the skid loader. So skid loader, ATV, UTV, brush cutter. We are driving out to the ranch this morning. We've got a couple other people that are going to meet us there that are going to kind of help out. So you might see some people in the background running around. Um, just some local beauties are going to come out and help us take down the freaking fence, restore it to its natural habitat. No more high fence it's going back to natural. And it's, that's pretty much what we're doing today. We may not get it all done today. The DNR still has to kind of tell us where we have to take it down. We don't have to take down the entire thing to like consider it not a high fence the deer just have to be considered not in captivity um right now they're considering even though i leave the gates open the dnr knows it we're all on good terms there you know it's not fair chase right now so we gotta pull down enough fence to deem it fair chase and that's up to them they're biologists they're the people that went to school for this i dropped out i don't know what it's like to be a deer and run around and you know they they understand the logistics of deer movement and what the part of the fence needs to be taken down so we're gonna head down there see what we need to take down and get to taking it down if that makes sense you guys stay tuned here folks the old dozer that got broken down it's actually right over there this is like one of those big crp ish looking areas and we've got some beefcakes here well you guys already know zach here he's he's getting it figured out pump gas catch bass and kick ass brother that's what i'm saying and we got trey your local beauty coming to help out and uh we already know this scrub guy Hell here yeah. and then we got hunch you guys already know the turkey legend himself so this is our group of individuals like i said there's a bunch of other dudes here local beauties that are out they're actually working out by the cabin that was kind of looked like kind of the easier stuff this is going to be a little bit more tricky um there's a lot of cedar so we've got the brush cutter and we got an atv and a whole bunch of tools and just a bunch of beefcake straight up manpower and so we're going to try cutting this fence down kind of with the strat so this thing is eight foot remember when i was saying that it's not legally appropriate for a high fence it has to be 10 foot here in this state and it's eight foot so like literally i know a lot of you guys are pissed that we're not making this exotic and having zebras but like legally it, it does not work i thought this was 10 foot but it's not like you can that's not 10 i'm not that tall i can almost touch it it's eight foot so whoever put this up this was before they changed the regulations um because like i said the dnr said they've seen deer jump this so the fence needs to come down it's what we were wanting to do anyway so i've got the i'm gonna run the skid loader i'm gonna just try clearing all this brush kind of all the way we're pretty much having to take the whole thing out i was hoping we only had to do a few stretches kind of here and there but it's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it. I don't want any of the high fence, but I also don't want to work here for the next week just tearing out fence. And those poor gentlemen over there don't want to either. So we're just going to see what we can get done today. Um, we'll start off, like I said, on this stretch, run the skid loader. I'll probably run it down maybe 100 yards, try to fold that section on, see what it does, see kind of what it's acting like. Is it is it a pain? Is it easy? Because um, if it's easy, we'll just keep ripping the whole thing and we can pretty much take out the entire north side of the high fence. And the thing I like about this is not right here, but over there is ag field. So this is where, you know, deer are going to go bed down in the timber. They're going to walk over here and they're going to jump in the ag field. So I don't want a fence here at all. I, I, I want them to be able to naturally jump in and out. So that being said, you guys enjoy.
These dang trees are all along the fence and I can't get the skid loader close enough without tearing out the fence. It's gonna be a long day, folks. We haven't even gotten, it's been 20 minutes, we hadn't gotten any of it pulled down. There's too many freaking cedar trees, so. Good old manual labor. Let's get after it. Really? Serious? Pick the absolute worst spot to start. This spot is gonna make everybody appreciate the rest of it. And so we've got this all basically probably a hundred yard stretch. So we basically folded it over on itself. That way the deer can jump. Again, are they gonna just leap into that bush? Probably not. I mean, the odds are the deer are not gonna move through this area. Um, plus there is another fence over there. It's one of those, the only reason why I like doing it here is because it is a corner. You know, you've got the, there's like a creek that runs there and then this whole CRP. So I feel like it's kind of a funnel area. So I want to make sure they can jump if they want to, but this is like, we got to get to the easy stuff. We've got a lot of other fence that is wide, 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 wide open um, with no trees. We don't have to pull them out with four wheelers and cut them. And I'm getting all cut up. All the boys are out here just sweating and getting it for no reason um, because we have a lot of other easier stuff. So we're going to knock out the easy stuff first. And then again, we're, we're working with the game and parks here. They're letting us know what, what parts need to be taken down and what can be left. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go get all of the easy parts, which is honestly, I would say like 80% of this property is easy. This was like the hardest spot that I saw. I just, what I did, you probably didn't see me in the time last of the video. I ran around and checked out basically the scouted the rest of what we're going to do today. And there was like 10 trees to cut in total, which here we had to cut through all of this. It was just a absolute disaster so anyways tough parts done i thought you were taking a nap you did good i had to go scout uh, we're good scout we're good all the way north all the way to the west all the way to the south and a little bit to the west basically we can get like i would say like 25 to 30 percent of the entire property done is what we're doing now okay. excited yeah okay and then pizza's coming. Macy's, yeah. Macy's bringing pizza yeah. in like an hour so let's see let's see if we can get a big section done before yeah. we have to go get lunch you guys stay tuned Shoo! We made it to the next spot, folks. So I just ran the skid and uh, I mowed all the way down to the north side, all of this. So this is like the top ridge portion we used to have. That green feeder, remember I was putting the corn in the ground, the green feeder? It used to be right over there. So this whole stretch is open. Like I said, we started with the hardest part first, big mistake. So we're gonna run and just start snipping all these wires and pull the entire fence down. Look at that, as far as you can see, the fence is down. We've been bending wire. My thumbs are just absolutely raw from twist and twist and twist and butt. Basically, we've, we're folding it on itself, we're pinching it, and then we're wiring it to the fence. So now, if deer wanna walk through here, all they gotta do is jump and just not get clothes on. I said that the game park said we can leave that top wire because that would be a huge pain to rip that sucker out. And the deer, I mean, the deer can definitely clear this. There's plenty, that's like a four or five foot gap right there. They just gotta do a little gallop here. So we got four foot fence now instead of eight. So now, deer should be able to come in and out as far as you can see there, all the way down there we're moving a lot quicker now but it is time for a lunch break macy brought everybody pizza and then we're gonna move on to the next section which we're not sure where we're gonna go but stay tuned you're not gonna cut any lower than you need to then so what i'd probably do is just sit cut 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 leave this and fold down from here so probably maybe one of these yeah
right, this stretch got completed. So this is all the way from there, all the way down to this. So this is like a little creek ravine. That's a lot of places that deer and just other creatures in general I like to travel. Uh, it's like little creeks, ravines. I mean, sometimes they go up high, but I mean, like even you can see that right there, that got dug out by raccoons and stuff. So there's this ravine here, which is one of the kind of the dry creeks runoff. So we took it down all the way from that corner, all the way up to there. So that way, if any deer are coming off that CRP, cause we kind of started right up over there. We're actually gonna go back up there, pick a few open spots. It's super, super, super thick, but we'll go ahead and just cut you know, a couple, maybe 50 to 100 foot sections and just pull it down. That way from here all the way to the end isn't just completely enclosed. We just, it's really tough to get through all that super thick brush. So you wanna get as much as you possibly can. We've done some really big stretches now. So pretty much from here, all the way, all the way north, all the way west and all the way on the west side is pretty much done. I would say like we're probably 75 to 80% complete entirely with this project. So it's actually going, it's going pretty quick. Uh, it hasn't been too bad. So let's go see if we can find a couple of more spots to take down some vents. Got this side taken care of. I know this video is repetitive. It's a shoe. It's a, we took the fence down. Now it's more shoes. So this side is complete. We don't know where to go next. We're gonna start driving around and see if we can find another spot. Hopefully some big open stuff. We don't have to cut as many trees. Well, we're tying the skid loader for now, folks. We're going manual labor. It's just getting a little thick. We're, we're about to enter the abyss. It's the west side of this property we've never been to. So it's gonna get down and dirty, and I'm regretting not putting tick spray on because it's about to get it's about to get bad. So I got the pole saw electric chainsaw. Andrew's already got the man, the man chainsaw already out there. So let's go get dirty. Here comes the rain. Yep. Dad. There's a guy over there just pulled out his revolver, got off his tractor, pulled out his revolver, pop pow, in the river, puts it back. So probably a, probably a snake. I was just like, huh, <laughs> just shot in the river. <laughs> oh, one of our neighbors is shooting. I heard, oh, this little bastard. Little spider. All right, I've never been over here before. We're in the thick stuff here. Yeesh. What are we in the Rockies? Are we climbing now? Or? Yeah, look at that sucker. Good night. We are officially in the far west corner of the property. We have never been here. I doubt anyone's been here. This is definitely where that one lost bison lives though. Yeah. Said so if you guys are new here, okay? Used to be a high fence ranch exotics. Somebody said that there was one bison, they never found it. This is probably where I'd live if I was a bison. Cheese and rice. I really don't want to climb that. I'm not sure I want to go all the way up there. I might go up there just to check it out. Probably start folding what we have so we don't run out of daylight before it's yeah. completely done. I'd probably just say start folding what we... Yeah, you're gonna have to cut it on that corner and then we might as well open this up. And then I would probably start folding just to the post, like we have been with that the existing wire. You've been leaving that, that dang, just like we have been? Okay, we'll just pin it to the wires and call it good. Banjo, we got coyote poop. Really? Yeah. Freshy? Huh? Freshy? Nah, a few days old. Yeah. yeah, there's some deer prints here. I mean, they're, they're walking over here. This is literally like Colorado, dude. It's like a Rocky Mountain. Cheese and rice. Oh, I, I know where I need to come to get some rocks for the ponds. Hella structure out here. Oh, good God. The real question is how the heck did they bring up steel posts, concrete them in the ground, and hang up all this fence 40 years ago? Those guys are beasts. Jesus Christ, I'm out of shape. Shoo! It's a week of shoe of the day, folks. Well, we got chain dangling off that guy. Yes, sir. But we got all, as far as you can see, what's going on there? Chain dangling. 
Oh, okay. So as far as you can see, the whole this is the whole west side. And actually you can see over there, my neighbor, they've got a little hunting blind here. So they'll they'll appreciate it and I'll appreciate it because the deer from here are gonna hop this fence and wander over there. And if they shoot them, they shoot them. That's you gotta be neighborly, folks. Don't be don't be trying to hoard the deer. Okay, spread the joy. All right, because maybe potentially he's got a good spot in my deer go over there and he's like, Hey, I'm tagged out. You wanna come shoot this buck that's going from your land to my land, and it's easier to shoot on my land than here, because you guys saw the hill we had to climb to get over here. I ain't about that life. So, anyways, look at this. The whole thing's down. I think we're just about done. The boys are wrapping up the south end. And I'm going to give you a quick little, you know, once over of everything, kind of describe what we've done, kind of wrap some things up. But I think this is only going to help things, even though you would think, well, if the deer can only come and go one way, it's a lot easier for you to hunt them. You're going to get more numbers. You're going to get a larger volume of deer because deer may live in these woods and they never step foot right here because of this dang fence. Now they can hop in and enjoy all the food plots that we make over here. So anyways, we'll see you guys down at the bottom of the hill. Look at this thing. Well, we're walking down this hill. Looks like it might have been shot by old BB gun or something too. We're walking down this hill. You can see this hill's getting it right here. We didn't take the fence down just on this little section right here because, well, we're freaking, it's steeper and heckin'. Show there, them the cactus. Literally you a see, cactus. I got cactus on my land. I never knew there's cactus out in the Midwest like this. Look at that guy. He's hanging out. But this is old. Let me know how old you think this is. This is Anheuser Busch. But it's like before they had pop tabs. Right there, you like pop it open and then you like throw it away. It's before like the classic pop tab. So whenever that thing was invented. But this sucker's gotta be probably like two, three times as old as you are. At least. Some ain't this is some ancient, ancient gem. We're gonna keep it. I found one, I remember one time I found one of these. I was fishing with my dad and he was telling me how old it was. And that was probably 15 years ago. So I just found another one. So we're gonna keep it. Look, right here's some deer. There's some deer tracks right there. Why are they coming up here? Why, like what makes a deer say, heck yeah. It's like, it, this is literally elk, elk country. But like I said, the fence is down there and the fence is down right up there. So if they want to come in from down by the riverside or they want to come in up on the, the hillside, they'll be able to come and go as they please without having to worry about this freaking high fence. Shoo, we made it back folks. That was a cluster. We had, how many trucks do you think were here? In total, one, two, three, four, five, six, already left, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I was gonna say 15. I'll say 12 to 15 trucks, and we had 20 to 25 beefcakes out here in total. But the part that we didn't do that I wanted to show you that you guys will obviously like understand where we're at is we're at the cabin and there's no fence. We don't have to go through the Jurassic Park gate anymore, folks. It's wide open. We actually tore it out. We didn't even fold it in half like everything else. It got completely taken out because it's an internal fence, meaning my property goes over there. You know, if it's my property line or along the road, you're gonna want some fence. That way people can't just like drive a truck in there. And you know, especially like having, if we ever wanna have animals out here, cattle or something like down down the road this didn't really mean anything because there's fence that runs my property runs past this wasn't a property boundary this was just a what was inside the high fence and this is what was outside the high fence so we ended up just ripping it out because it made it way easier because now we can drive from the cabin to the shop without having to go through the Jurassic Park gate that gate is literally meaningless at this point um, and so they ended up just rolling all of this fencing up here eight foot tall I mean it's good fencing I don't know what I'm gonna yeah. use it for you know but Dale jumps fences he ain't jumping eight foot we might need a honestly plan. like this is this is a lot of money's worth of fence oh, yeah. that's just sitting here so at some point we'll do something with it i don't know how far they went that way and actually tore it out we'll have to go down there a different day and we got some more time to go kind of explore a little bit but between the cabin and the shop was what i mainly wanted this is so nice to just yeah. be able to come in like we could take out these posts but it isn't that big of a deal they're concreted and it would just be a, an absolute headache plus just leaving it again if you ever want if whoever buys this next whenever i sell it maybe i never will sell it someday somebody could turn it into i guess well technically no are the posts eight foot or yeah yeah they oh. could turn it into a, for like their animals yeah that's about it not yeah. exotics not not shooting animals not, not cattle farm yeah a big <laughs> cattle farm fence that's basically what that is so that's a bit, the whole thing the entire thing all the way down there down by the pond the south and the north we almost i would say on a percentage side set uh, probably more than 75 probably what do you think 85 percent of the fence got taken down yeah. We only left a yeah. couple spots, like where it was very, super like, thick. Where it was, like, a huge deer deer yeah, here. yeah, deer wouldn't cross there anyway. Right here. Why do we need to take yeah. that out? Why like that thing would be right there. It's like, well, deer ain't gonna. They don't climb trees. Uh, well, I haven't seen them. I, I don't know. The you seen the raccoons out here? Yeah. Those suckers Dude, are limber. Crazy. You seen them? They freaking jump in there. They hang up. Maybe the deer like that too. We're not really sure. But we didn't see any bison. We didn't see any deer. Did you see any deer? Well, That's, now I they have to. Now they have to come back. Get, think about how tripped up they're gonna be. Yeah, like they, they, this, they left this morning before we got here. That. 
before we before we got here, the deer would have left because we got here like 9 a.m. They're out feeding, doing deer things. They're gonna come back to sleep and they're gonna go, where in the hell did that fence go? Yeah. Huh? It's gonna be weird to see what their new paths are like because yeah. it was easy to see like through that gate there, through that gate yeah. there. Like there was holes in the fence, low spots, but it's gonna be interesting to see where the game trails get created. Do they stay the same? Do they stay similar? Or is it just like completely 180? And we wanted to get this fence taken out ASAP. One reason, because it's not hot out yet. It's actually really nice out today. And um, we didn't want to do it when it was freaking blazing hot out. And two, we want to have enough time to figure out where the deer are traveling, okay? Because it's all gonna change. Everything I think I know about this property related to deer means nothing at this point because we just took all the fence down and now they're gonna have new paths we're gonna have new deer coming in that have never been able to get in here because they didn't know where the holes were the whole thing has changed we've completely overhauled the abandoned high fence I, can we even call it abandoned high fence anymore abandoned medium fence ab abandoned no fence yeah. we walked five what do you miles call? today by the way really yeah yeah that's I mean, think if it was just us. Well, we would have we would be about 5% done. Yeah. Like, so we had 25 beefcakes out here that absolutely just hammered out. All you guys saw probably like 20% of what got done today. There's a whole bunch of people out here, just local beauties, helping us out, getting the high fence down to where now we, everything can come and go. Hopefully this thing loads up with more and more deer than ever before. That's kind of the plan. Um, let us know what you guys think, what we should do for food plots out here, what we should actually plant. Now that we're kind of, we're ready. We're ready to actually put some crops in and down into the ground. So next step, food plots, then tree stands, and then blinds, and kind of get all that deer prep work. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the high fence series. Now it's the low fence series moving forward. I think the next big project other than deer is we gotta, we gotta fix up the cabin. Right now, it smells like some type of mildew, mold, fungus that you may or may not get cancer from. And it's just, it, it just needs to be, it needs a makeover. Okay, extreme makeover, off-grid, cabin high fence edition or something like that anyways hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video we'll catch you on the next one and peace